So on the one hand, I want to think that economics can give us important clues about how to fix big problems, how to solve problems of poverty and climate change and so on. On the other hand, it's pretty clear that there are economists out there who are overstepping various boundaries and who in some cases do real harm by mistakenly promoting various ideological claims while pretending to be scientists. So much of my work is motivated by a desire to sort of figure out where the boundaries are between these two things. That sort of search took me to philosophy, where moral philosophy explores issues of normative foundations and justice and rights and welfare and equality and so on. And so those tools that I've gathered in, in philosophy have helped me in all sorts of ways. So economics is very obviously driven by values in the ways that we select the problems we study, the applications we, we try to come up with. At the same time, the values are not the exclusive domain of professional economists. These are things that philosophers have studied. And there's a real sense in which if an economist is going to try to improve the world, we should not expect the economist to supply those values, even if he or she would rather like to do that. The values that matter might be the values of the person paying for the intervention, or more likely the values of the people who are going to end up on the receiving end of it. And these are questions that I think are really too important to leave to the economists alone.